Hey Jason, what are you up to? Oh, taking a cowling off again to balance a prop since uh, got a long trip coming up. I'm jealous you're going to Mexico without me, but I'm glad you swapped out your prop for this trip because I've got a really cool new toy awesome. that we get to test. I'm excited. Yeah. DynaVibe sent us their latest prop balancer. We've been using their product for a long time. And this is the new best thing. It's got a lot more features and options. We're gonna open it up for the first time, give it a try and bounce this prop. And uh, you should always bounce your props. It makes a huge difference. Vibration's bad for engines, bad for airplanes. So, and bad for pilots. You go insane. You go absolutely insane if it's shaking and buzzing. I go insane. I'm insane right now. All right, pretty excited about this. The first thing we notice right off the bat is the controller has a lot more bunk buttons and functions and a lot larger screen. Um, uh, we'll have to read the instructions because I was a pro at the last system and this one we're gonna have to learn again. But that's okay because it has, it does a lot more stuff. Uh, I'm gonna try to fumble through this without <laughs> reading the instructions and see if we can just make it work. But Does it have uh, Siri included? Uh, does not come with Siri. Uh, it's a great idea, Jason. We'll, we'll suggest a DynaVibe for Siri voice operated controls would be great. Um, another thing I noticed with the new kit is it has some aluminum brackets. It has various ones that came with it. One I got years ago didn't have anything. You had to fabricate your own. We took the brackets that came with it and put it up here on the engine. And it installed real easy and nice. You can see here's the accelerometer. Here's the sensor for RPM and all this just bolted together and mounted up really nice so it's going to take no time at all to just undo this one bolt to unhook it off the engine and put it on the next engine so another thing we did is we put all the wires together these things are always flopping around there's two of them we used just regular zip ties last time and they're sliding around in the wind in the prop blast so this now we use the grip lock ties they're the rubber lined zip ties so nothing can slide and shift and so we're all ready to go. If you haven't seen these grip lock ties, they're pretty awesome. They're reusable. You can open and close them and they're rubber lined. And so you can get them a lot tighter and nothing shifts and chafes and cuts your wires or slides down your paint. Amazing product. I'm biased. I love them. All right, Jason's getting in. We've got everything taped off so we don't damage the paint and we're hooked up. We've got this all calibrated and set up. I have to say so far, I, mean, I haven't read the instructions, so it could be totally not work, and then I'll have to do some, you know, ground school. But uh, as it is, that was easy to set up, and I can tell it's got a lot more parameters. We're able to set the prop position, how many places we can add weights on the flywheel, where those positions are so it can calibrate it or tell you where to put weights. All this stuff wasn't in the previous versions. It was a lot of trial and error, and you kind of got good at it, and people would want to borrow your equipment or, uh, or, you know, rent it. I know a lot of people buy these and rent them out to people because everybody should prop, balance a prop. But, but um, it was you had to get good at it. And this thing here, it's not more complicated. I think it's going to make it a lot simpler. So, Jason, you ready? Yeah, you might want to tape this. Okay, I'll tape it. We're going to try this thing. All right, this thing's pretty awesome, I've got to tell you. I am really impressed. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's telling us exactly where to add weight on that prop. No figuring it out on your own. It's just telling us what to do. And then we noticed that, I didn't notice when we unpacked back packaged it, but it even comes with an awesome scale. So when it says it has 21 grams here, and three grams there, and 12 grams over there, you got a scale. It came with it. That's freaking amazing. All right, we just, for the first time ever using a prop balancer, got all the way from a totally crappy vibrating engine down to awesome in one try. It told us where to put the weight. We put basically that weight, not as much as it said, and it got down into the okay range, the you're gonna have a smooth engine range, the your wires aren't gonna wear out and break off your alternator because of vibration range, the I'm not wearing out my airplane range. One try, that's insane. <laughs> We're down, down to 0 0.08, which is in the acceptable range on one try. And if 
I'm guessing had we added the amount of weight exactly like it said, we just didn't have a big enough bolt, we'd have been there first try. I am so happy, I can't even tell you. Buy one of these, it'll save your engine, it'll save your airplane. It makes guys like this smile when they gotta fly all the way down to Mexico and back and not feel the buzz of an unbalanced engine. How many pilots do you think even know how bad their airplanes are? Mm, 2%. Maybe 2%. <laughs> and I've never had a pilot that we've done a prop balance on that after it's done feels like it's a new airplane. Yeah, that's a big difference. I mean, it's huge. Yeah. Um, DynaVibe, guys, you nailed it. I mean, you freaking nailed it. The kit, the case, the packaging it comes in, the scale, the fact that everything came with batteries. It even came with an Allen wrench to kind of put the, the brackets together and the bolts. 100%. That was a home run, guys. I couldn't be happier. Good job. Money well spent. Get a prop balancer. You'll feel like you got a new airplane.